for mental illness is uh, in honor of my sister Brielle. <clears throat> Nights like this uh, definitely help the, towards the path of stopping the stigma of both mental health and suicide, and I'm glad I can contribute to it. Um, my mom and I have a passion and a vision to keep Brielle's legacy alive. Um, uh, her, despite her mental illness and her battle through it, she had a smile and a personality and just brought joy to people and the lives around her. It was, it's, she was just a beautiful, beautiful soul. Um, unfortunately, there was a lot of suffering and a lot of pain behind closed doors that my family had to witness. Um, June 30th and November 19th, the days I lost my sister and my dad to suicide will forever be the darkest days of my, my life. And just going through this past year and seeing that type of tragedy of just having loved ones taken away from you uh, is something that no one should ever go through, but it is very real. And suicide becomes more prevalent every year. And that's why I believe there's a message that needs to be out there to stop the stigma. Um, we all have, we all struggle with negative emotions. We all struggle with pressure and stress. And there's days where our inner critic just talks to us, makes us feel like we're, we're not, we don't live up to the expectations that we, that we hold ourselves to and that we're not good enough. But these feelings might feel like they're suffocating at times, but I do know that there is no reason to submit to them. Never give up. Focus on taking one step at a time. There will be mistakes along the way. There will be times that you fail and you feel like you can't get up from that. And it's just a step back and it's just a climb to where you want to be. But the one thing I've been telling myself is that these failures, these mistakes, are just a way to improve. You learn from them and then you just keep going. Uh, if, if you use these as a way to improve, um, it shows others, but more importantly, it shows yourself that giving up is not an option. You're more capable than sometimes what you tell yourself and your abilities can take you places that you want to go to the goals you want to reach. Find something that you're passionate about. Find something that you can work towards, a goal, something that will keep you on a path, something to look forward to. And working hard, so that to, working hard towards that goal will help you build a foundation for the confidence that you need to get over that hump, to get over that hard part in life. Yes, there will be days that are tough and there's days that are painful and sad, but if you know that you can handle these negative emotions and, power, and you can power through those days, great. Do it, you're strong and you're capable. Also know that you're not in this alone. Know that through these dark times in your life, there are people that truly, truly care about you and want to see you fulfilled and want to see you happy. Um, I'm saying this because this is what I've been telling myself over the past nine months, almost a year. It's, you know, it's just been flying by, but I've been having to tell myself I wake up every day. Some days are great. Some days are absolutely terrible. But all I know is that if I keep on this path, good will come from it. And in my case, I went through all this tragedy, all this loss, and I'm just getting into therapy next week because I thought that I'm resilient, I can do this by myself, but there comes a point in time where I, I told myself, you know what, it's okay that I'm doing, that I can ask for help, I can reach out, because ultimately, in my path, reaching out, asking for help is what I needed to do. And it could be the next step for one of you. Any, anybody who's struggling, just reach out to someone you love. They will listen, they care about you, and that could be what you're, what you're needing to get over that next step. You're not, a, you're not alone. So keep that in mind and be brave. To end this part, I want to start off by saying a uh, quote by Maya Angelou I read in a book. 
She says, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And I see that obviously there's a lot of athletes in here. I understand that there's a flip you need to switch on competitiveness and where you need to have some nastiness and a chip on your shoulder. But throughout your day, uh, I just wanted to end on that I think, and I know I know will help a lot of people because Brielle, she had a special way of making people feel comfortable around her, feeling like they could be her, feeling like they could be themselves. And through that, she treated everyone with respect and showed everyone unconditional kindness. Uh, there are people who suffer in silence, and to a certain extent, I feel like we all do, um, because we all have our crosses to bear. We all have our we all have our things that bring us down. But all I know is ultimately we are out here trying our best in this confusing and sometimes cruel, stressful world. But with that in mind, respect, positivity, and simply being nice can go a long way in helping those who are close to you and people who you don't even see on a day-to-day -day basis and everyone in between. It's been said a lot and it's been said a lot for a reason. A friendly hi, a smile, a fist bump, a compliment, could change someone's bad day into a good one, a pessimistic thought into an optimistic thought. It could give someone the needed boost of confidence to succeed, or it could even save someone struggling, struggling to see a reason to live, a reason not to give up. So with all that being said, be respectful, be a friend, be positive, and not only be kind, be kinder than necessary. Thank you. Let's have an awesome night.